So I already mounted a bit of framing on the rear wheel, but for the rest of the frame I already prepared the modules to assemble it and as you can see there's gonna be a lot of these parts used for the frame. So let's see how it goes. So the frame of the scooter is done and I wanted to test how well it can support the weight and I gave it a nice test and I found out that there is an issue with it. As you can see here and here um, and same on the bottom side these are the weak points and uh, they happen on basically every frame here so what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna do two things okay so first thing I'm gonna shorten the frame which means there's gonna be less of a bending load on it and second I'm gonna add more layers of frames here so the this load is gonna be this will be spread on multiple parts not just one so it's a bit of a redesign time and yeah that's what happens when you're pushing lego to its limits okay so here is the reinforced and shortened frame i added another layer here and i also added more layers in the middle so now it's much stronger and now if i put one foot here and another here and it holds. It still bends a bit, of course, obviously, it's still plastic, but it's much better than before. So now that the frame has been reinforced, I started working on the front end of the scooter. So this is gonna be the front wheel with the motors, and I already fixed the basic frame to the wheel. And now, uh, after a lot of repetition, it's time to start working on the handlebars itself, and these uh, little modules are going to be part of the hinge that will allow the scooter to steer. And here is the joint. So basically this massive assembly allows the front forks to steer. And it's also very strong because it has to, you know, carry the weight of the scooter and the person. So I hope it's going to be strong enough. So the front has been attached to the frame. And now let's, let's give it a go. Yep, it can survive the weight. It works. Woohoo! 